Greetings everybody, I'm Amy Holmes with a brief explainer on the Ebola hot zone for the hot list at the blaze. And if the outbreak is not stopped now, we could be looking at hundreds of thousands of people infected with profound political and economic and security implications for all of us. President Obama speaking from the CDC in Atlanta, announcing his plan to send 3,000 U.S. troops to battle the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. At least 5,000 people have become infected and 2,400 people have died from the dreadful disease. Medical missionary Kent Brantley, an Ebola survivor, offered dramatic testimony this week before the Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee. Indeed, it is a fire. It is a fire straight from the pit of hell. The Ebola virus first appeared in 1976 in two simultaneous outbreaks in Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo. It gets its name from the Ebola River near where the disease first struck. According to the World Health Organization, there have been two dozen outbreaks in the past four decades, all of them in Africa, with a 90% fatality rate. In humans, Ebola is transmitted through contact with bodily fluids, including blood, saliva, and sweat. Among the symptoms of the disease are fever, muscle pain, vomiting, and unexplained bleeding and bruising. The incubation period for the virus is anywhere from two to 21 days. Healthcare workers have frequently contracted the disease while treating infected patients, even patients with no visible symptoms. There is no vaccine or proven cure. Experts warn that there is also no precedent for sending U.S. troops to battle a deadly contagion, and there are grave consequences to acting without adequate preparation. Experts also fear the virus could mutate and become airborne. I'm Amy Holmes reporting to you from the Blaze Newsroom in New York City.